Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and I think I want to do greed mode this time, but I'm unsure who to do it as. I kind of want to do it as a tainted character because that'll give us a unlock. Do you know what? Let's do it as tainted Samson. How about that? Um, yeah, I, I want to do it as a tainted character because tainted characters have like the card unlocks. I'm not sure which character has what and I'm, I'm not going to faff around with having a look. I'm just going to go for it. And I haven't played a Tainted Samson in quite a long time. And I feel like he's pretty darn good for greed mode. Just in the fact that you can, um, you can like kind of stack his ability. Not, not as in stack it, but you can like keep it going for a really long time just because of how the waves work. Also, I just thought I had turd hair there because I spawned in like this. I was like, what the hell? Why is there a turd on my head? I do not know. Right, anyways, let's uh, just continue on with this. Wow. I did not know you could get a lump of coal in this room, but that is a very, very good item to get. I will say it is a little bit of a bummer um, <laughs> how much of a excruciatingly low range we have to start, but I will not uh, I will not be too upset. It, it, lump of coal is still valuable regardless. Um, as for the question of the day today, what is the last thing you won? I've just been, I've been doing a lot of giveaways on my YouTube channel recently, thanks to a viewer called Luca who donated some money to go towards giveaways. Thank you very much, Luca. Um, if you're watching this, you are muchly appreciated. But um, yeah, it'd just be interesting to hear like from from everyone. What was like the last thing you won? Uh, for me, it's it's quite a while ago now. But in a raffle, um, like like a few Christmases ago, I won a um a box of Yorkie bars that were raisin and biscuit and they're like my favorite chocolate bar of all time and I mean like it was like a the boxes that they send to the stores to sell it was like an absolutely full box I think it must have been at least a hundred chocolate bars and uh, I, I got through them in a a low amount of time that is slightly embarrassing <laughs> I'm pretty sure me and my girlfriend managed to eat the entire box of them in like it was probably like two weeks, maybe, maybe, maybe two and a half. But considering there's like a hundred chocolate bars in there, it was way too much. That was a bit of a bad hit there, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Which which boss are we fighting? Oh, it's you. You're not actually that bad when we've got the uh, the old swingy swingy middingy. Um, managed to do the boss and everything in one fell swoop there. Um, I didn't really sort of intend to do that. Um. But it just kind of felt natural. Now, do I want to go for Toy Drum? I think Toy Drum's pretty good. I'll take Toy Drum. Ooh, baby. I hate the fact that that's the thing that just showed up. Because that item is super goddamn good on Greed Mode. Empty Heart is likewise very, very nice here. And I think the fact that we got Empty Heart means that a Devil Deal is certainly in the cards here. So I will look into that. And also, yeah, I want to be buying range ups when I can to make Lump of Coal a little bit better. Honestly... Range normally comes pretty naturally, so you don't really have to buy it, but when you've only got five, that's like the sort of levels that make you upset when you get number one. <laughs> Very upsetting stuff, but I'll take a Devil Deal here, um, and I will take this. It's pretty good. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. Just throws out one of those. I think that's pretty nice, um, and I think we just keep on going here. Um, yes, yeah, so I think we'll get an empty heart here from um, the empty vessel, whatever it's called. We did not. I still don't really know how this item works. I'll be honest. Because I, I, I swear it's like, oh, you have to have an empty red heart and then it works. And then sometimes it's like, no, I don't have an empty red heart and it still worked. And I'll be honest, I just don't know. I just don't know how it works. It's very confusing to me. Like, yeah, I just don't know. Ooh, B item is very good and very cheap. So I like that very much, sir. Uh, but yeah, pretty much same as last time. Once we get our uh, red meter filled up and going, we're going to be kind of on a roll, so to say. Um, and that is going to be doing very nice damage. Okay, you get back here, you. We did unfortunately lose our red meter there. I didn't think we'd end up losing it at all, but... Them enemies were a little bit slow to spawn. I do not like where I spawned there. But I have a feeling that this active is going to be very, very nice for clearing out waves. Oh, God. Oh, God. These guys are a little bit spicy. Like, the one thing about it is it does come out at quite some speed, which is not 
great every time. Can you calm down, Bats? I realise you're having a, a wonderful time, but for me, you're just being an absolute pain. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage here. Right, definitely want this. This is very, very good. Do you know what? That is, um... That... Eh, it's actually... It's not great. Um... It gives us 30 coins, so it just gives, it straight gives us 15 extra coins, so we definitely want to buy it. But I also do want a key. Right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's do this first. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, baby. It is beautiful. Let me get Mr. Chubster, the Mr. Chubastic. And then the bees carry, us, carry on our legacy. It's beautiful. Right, so now we can buy this, and it'll give us a bunch more money. And then we can buy this Dreamcatcher, probably. It's, it's half a soul heart pair floor. It's not bad. Placebo pill is not great for us here. Um, ooh, it's really goddamn good, but this active, I believe, is better. Um... Cleared rooms. I guess we go library and just try and get bookworm. We unfortunately didn't. Friends have black art. I mean, we got a, we got two black arts out of this room. It all was not lost. All was not lost. God damn, our character is looking funky right now. Absolutely funky. Um, I believe we just keep her going here. Oh really? I just, you know what? You, you got you got hit enough. Enough for me to be happy. Also, we generate a lot of bees when we're swinging this. I like that. We've committed to devil deals now, and of course I'll take hellfire. See, now I have absolutely no idea. Am I going to get a red heart on the next floor or not? I just, I just don't know, okay? I just don't know. My brain, it lets me down. We did get one. See? I, I just... I don't remember. We also got this. Which gave me this. Like letter time. I'll just do that. Uh, give me that. One second. Need to sneeze. My apologies. My apologies. There might be another one coming, so just ready your engines. Um, hot bombs. Not good, but it gives us bombs at least. Blue cap is good. I liketh the blue cap. Uh, right. Want to use our bombs for anything in here? I guess this. Beautiful. Do I want to use my bombs for any of this? No. Do I just bomb this machine and hope for the best? Yes, I do. Gamble I'm willing to take. And Lanky Mushrooms is pretty good for us. It's damage, slight tears down, but a range up as well. And it makes our character look even more gross, which I respect. Huzzah. Right. Let's keep this trainer going. Oh shit, I didn't really think about the fact that Hellfire might actually be kind of bad for us when we're trying to kill an enemy to extend our length. It could mean the enemy doesn't die when it's meant to die. Which isn't great for us. One second. Go. Sorry, my nose is playing absolute pranks on me right now. It's not, it's not being a very nice chair. Like, that guy's just chilling, not not blowing up the way he should be. Oh god, I just walked right into that enemy with no regard for my own safety. My bad. That guy's destroying himself as well. Okay. How are we looking? We got 15 again here. Um, I think this saves us money here. Let's take it. Oh, whoa, it's an R key, baby. See... Our key, we could have used the the sculpting clear. Oh no, because that's an accident. Doesn't matter, shush. Right, um. Yeah, not great against you, but we're about to get our uh a slappy stick. Now slappy stick, it do good. Oh god. You are right on top of me, good sir. It's okay though, you are very dead. Or very nearly dead, should I say. Oh my lord. 
All your little jumpers are on me. Get them off. Get them gone. Oh my god. I, I keep thinking it's going to throw it all the way to the wall and then it doesn't and it confuses the hell out of me. I'm liking this, uh, this strong set of chain reactions we've got going on right now. That was pretty satisfying. Um, I think I'll go with this. I think that's bound to be reasonably good. Um, and I will leave this a bird, I think. Can't buy an R key. Let's just keep on heading down. Yeah, I imagine the daggers will be pretty good. I can't say for sure. One thing I do know that right now is my health is not great. <laughs> right now my health is not looking particularly good. We did get birthright. Killing an enemy adds three seconds instead of one. That is an absolute no-brainer. Um, that is going to be extremely good. And I think that's our first time now having gotten birthright. What a what a great one to get it for. And what's with all the actives, game? Um, da -da 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 -da. I don't think that'll give us damage right now. We'll see if we get any damage later and then take that. But right now, I don't think that'll give us any damage. But yeah, basically now, um, we can keep this this whole berserk going for a really long time because. Getting any one kill essentially entirely refills the duration. Unfortunately, as you just saw there, kills with Hellfire do not count, which is a massive bummer. Um, I didn't think that, that would be such an issue. I thought the kill would still count, but it, it doesn't, like, even, even after they explode, the kill doesn't count. So that's a real problem for us, because it basically means that it's quite unreliable for us to be able to extend our berserking duration now, which is a bummer. But still, I still think with the, the birthright, things are things are looking good for us, regardless. We're, got, we're not hellfiring every enemy. We're hellfiring a lot of them, but we are killing an okay majority of them as well. You can see how effective this is, though. Oh lord. Things are happening. Oh my god, the amount of the amount of diamonds we have here is a little bit absurd. Okay, now we have new Skolex. Apparently this guy, he's not meant to take damage for a little while. Basically you have to like break through his armor and then he starts taking damage. You can see like he's got like armor that's slowly cracking and there's like a sort of cracking noise to go along with it. Wasn't aware of that the first time I came across this guy and was just very confused, but we'll uh, we'll get there. You can see though the daggers are setting him on fire and potentially doing good damage as well. It's all good. You can see his health is changing red now, but I just think this guy has way too much armor. I like the concept of having to break the segments and stuff, but like it's just kind of ridiculous how much like work you have to put in to get into the point to be killable. Like, I've been fighting this guy for so damn long. And I've dealt, I've dealt no damage to him thus far. Still waiting on those segments to break. Like, I, like he's at, how is he not dead yet? So, maybe he is just broken. And I was not misinformed. And in fact, he is definitely broken. This is taking way too long. I was told I'd have to keep firing at him. It's clearly not working, though. How about a firebomb for you? Nope. We're going to have to do the uh, deep, the old debug 10. I don't, we don't like to see it, but sometimes you got to pull out the big guns. How is this guy not dead yet? There you go, finally. You're cheeky. I'm definitely worried about my current level of HP at the moment. It's very low. Ow. Especially when I get hit like that. My bad. Damn it. Okay. Um. I mean, meat is HP and damage. That's good. 
This is tears and hearts, so that's good, but I can't afford it currently. Pop that there and see if it gives us a penny. We got the coupon, baby. Um, coupon do be pretty good. It gave us this for free. Okay. Didn't give me anything I wanted. Now I'm upset. Give me that. Wait, what? When do we end up with this many hearts? What the hell? What did I miss? Oh, we got lust. That's that's right. <laughs> very confused for a moment there. Very, very confused. Right. Now we can go to the next floor. Still, I'm not super confident in this run quite yet. But we'll see how it goes. We do have a glass D8 there if we want to take the risk. Seems like a rather large risk, I'll admit. Items-wise in the shop, we've not got much going on. In fact, we've got really nothing going on. And we've got no reroll machine either. Fan dabby dozy. You've been blasted in the ass. Okay, just go on swinging now. Been hit, god damn it. I keep getting hit so much. Like, so, so much. It's unbelievable how much. See? I'm just sliding around all over. I, I hit the spider that's. Oh, damn it. I just accidentally popped the glass D8. I went to use the goddamn emergency contact. I was getting overwhelmed. I'm gonna use the glass D8 instead. It seems that it was a pretty positive thing. We got maximum speed. We got a slightly lower fire rate. We got good damage, I think. Could you open, please? There you go, sir. My god, I forgot you did explosives as well. You mean, mean big boys. This is stressful. I put stress on myself. Got two of these guys. God damn it, how am I still getting hit? A little bit of brimstone on him. Don't get too close to me, Poppy. I said don't get too close. We ignored rule number one. There was a heart up here the whole time. God damn my gooberish ways. Um I guess again we take this for the healing. And we do this for the reason of potentially getting a good devil deal. Although I think the days of being able to take devil deals are a little bit past us, but I will try. I don't know how we're going to be able to actually kill greed here. That feels like it's going to be impossible, but I do love that. do love that. It's risky. I've realized it's very risky. I am not one to be adverse to risk, so <laughs> my health right now is so bad. I'm just kind of like throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks when my health is this bad. Uh, someone's an open shop. Ooh, I like that. I have made my fire rate even worse. Unfortunately, my speed is terrible now. I don't know where my good speed came from before. I was at two speed before. What happened there? At least we're doing good damage. We even got this, which is an active that I don't care for. That's pretty damn good. Okay. Uh, right. We have a bit of a game plan now. Don't accidentally buy shit. That's, that's one of the parts of the game plan. Getting hit charges this thing up as well. I didn't, I didn't even really pay attention to that fact. I kind of subconsciously knew that, but I didn't really think about it. Take you out. You've brimstoned yourself. That was explosive, wasn't expecting that. 
let's not die also that that'd be a a good part of this whole shebang is not dying I actually don't want to be in swingy swingy mode anymore. It's keeping me in it. I died. Okay, this has been something quite tragic. I don't really know how to explain a run like this. Um, <laughs> I, I think I was just playing too, it all too close to the wall there. I was hoping we could have got a greed fight in there, but it is what it is. Sometimes we have these episodes where we're a little bit out of whack. They are what they are. I hope you guys enjoyed either way. I know it is a shorter episode, but I'm going to leave it there for now and we'll continue on in, uh, in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed.